welcome back to the Koi Warehouse. This is the fourth in a series of videos on Koi health and today we're going to be looking at a Koi with, with a badly ulcerated body and how to treat this. Okay, we have a, a Koi in front of us with a very, very nasty ulceration. Um, obviously the epithelium is broken and bacteria has invaded the site. Uh, the Koi will require an antibiotic injection and in order to give the right antibiotic, in, antibiotic injection we'll need to take a swab and have this swab analysed. Um, to take a swab, it's quite a simple procedure. Um, we take a, a sample from different areas of the fish, uh, directly on the wound itself as well. Uh, we can then send this off to be analysed and we should have a result back within about 48 hours. Simply uh, push the swab inside the container, uh, push it down, and label it, and then we send this off to our vets. You can, you can obtain these quite easily, you just go to your local vet and uh, they will supply you with a swab. Okay? Right, uh, welcome back. Um, we've had the results back from um, the laboratory and the results are quite conclusive. There's two forms of actual uh, bacteria invading the site, not just one. Um, unfortunately, this particular type of strain of uh, bacteria is resistant to most of the antibiotics that we actually use. Uh, the only one it's uh, actually sensitive to is a, a drug called Keptoziodine, uh, which we will need to weigh the fish for to actually uh, administer an antibiotic. Uh, so at least now we know uh, what we're up against and we can deal with it. Okay, so uh, as we said before, it's very important to weigh a fish. Um, you can do this, on, on, especially on small coil like this, on some kitchen scales if, you, if your wife will let you. But other than that, you can buy a cheap set of scales like these. Uh, they're about 60 or 70 pounds. So weighing the fish, the fish, fish weighs 900 grams. So we can then calculate the dose of antibiotics we actually need. Uh, firstly, obviously we're going to treat the fish uh, topically to try and seal the wound itself. And then we'll show you how to administer the antibiotics. Okay, as you can see, uh, the wound is quite severe. Um, there's a lot of rubbish around the wound and detritus, which will prevent any healing process taking place. So first of all, we have to clean this, uh, the muck and debris away. Um, although this looks as if it's um, like a bit of granulation, it actually isn't. It's yellow and it hasn't got a blood supply. So we actually need to remove some of this from the actual wound. That will encourage new blo uh, blood to flow to the area. And once we've cleaned it and cleared it of some debris, then it should heal quite nicely. So we're not cutting too deeply because we obviously don't want to traumatise the injury worse than what it actually is. Okay, that looks okay. We'll just check now for some dead scalation, which if you feel along the area, you can actually feel them yourself, but I was fairly visible what these are. So these are dead scales which will harbour any bacteria at all, which again will prevent any healing process taking place. Um, most of this at the back end of the wound is fluid. Um, there's no real need to pull the scales out of that. Hopefully we can just relieve the pressure a little bit and that fluid will drain out. But that looks as if it, it's fairly clean, so we'll go ahead now and apply a cleaning solution to the actual wound, which is uh, the one we use if you watch the previous videos, is uh, tea tree oil. So we'll just go ahead and work that into the actual air. You can see a lot of dirt and detritus coming off, dead tissue as well. Just another little bit there I'd like to remove actually. It's just a bit of loose tissue we don't really want. I mean it's very useful for these little swabs to, rather than cotton buds as we've seen in previous videos. It makes cleaning the area a lot easier. As you can see now there's less 
dirt and detritus coming off the wound. The fish is also well anaesthetised at the moment so there's no risk of it um, jumping around on the table for us. Right, so we've basically cleaned that area off. We'll apply a larger swab now just to sort of take any excess cleaner off the fish. You can see now the wound is looking a lot cleaner than when we actually started. Now we're going to administer an antibactericide, which is iodine, and you need to sort of get that up into the areas that are infected. You can see we can work um, relatively quickly with the swabs, whereas this would take some quite some time if we were using cotton buds. <coughs> um, just give that a couple of minutes to um, to actually sink into the, the koi and we'll just clean a little bit of the excess of that off. While we're just waiting for that to, um, to ease off there, we're going to administer the antibiotic. Okay, this particular antibiotic is, is injected into the pectoral muscle, um, try not to push too deeply otherwise you can cause trauma around the area. Um, one injection should be enough and uh, hopefully the koi will make a full recovery. Uh, we can check the koi in a couple of days time to see if there's granulation taking place and last but not least uh, we can seal this with an antiseptic, a sticky antiseptic. Which should last long enough for some granulation to start taking place and the antibiotic to take effect. So, there you have it. Um, the proper way to administer an antibiotic. Obviously that is not always the case, it's not always easy to do that. That is the proper way to do it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.